fuck is making that noise? You fucking kidding me? It's the game? Ah! Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to N Arcade Plays Fran Bow or Fran Bow. I don't know how to pronounce it, but we'll figure it out together. Uh, this game was requested a very long time ago, but unfortunately, uh, the version of uh, Windows that I was running just wouldn't cooperate with it, but the developers have since uh, updated their stuff and I'm now able to do it. I am playing this series, and you guys will probably be seeing this series uh, every day, episode to episode, because my computer has carked it. It has died. Uh, the power supply has stopped working, so for that reason, I can't play the games I wanted to. And, I mean, I don't know what game I wanted to play, but I just really wanted to play some game. But I can't play that now, so I'm kind of irky. Anyway, we are playing Fran Bao. Or Fran Bo. I don't know how to pronounce it. But, as you can see, she's terrifying. The creakiness in this music in the menu, I thought it was my chair, because my chair has been prone to creaks earlier. Uh, and I WD-40 the fuck out of it and stenched my entire room. But now, the game is fucking with me. So, we're just gonna jump straight into it. This game uses an autosave feature. And hopefully, it's gonna be fine. Hello. Everything's fine. See, everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I have shallow pits where my eyes should be. I see my parents. I killed them. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. Oh, it's pain. It's a cat. So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. Shallower than my soul. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. We're having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. Okay. I really like her a lot. What the fuck is this? And then she died. It's Friday, my parents are going out. I thought they were gonna collide with that tree. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We're having so much fun. Get off the, the table, Midnight. You're not allowed to eat on the table. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. I saw that you deleted Pony Island. I've come back for revenge. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. So we shut the bar. Suddenly I hear something. It's the sound of depression. It's mom screaming. But, but I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Oh God! Mom! Dad! Please! Don't! Oh jeez! Mommy! Daddy! to live with Aunt Gracie. We're all happy now. So she ran away, tripped, and then a cat slept on top of her. Whilst touching her butt tenderly, I will stomp on your butt. The cat is terrified. Why is the cat terrified? Because Mr. Man and Ms. Lady came and picked her up and took her to the occult meeting, apparently. Run, please, follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Two and a half. Hello, Mr. Psychologist. I'm assuming three. Fran, how do you feel? I'm fucking tripping, bro. I'm fine, I guess. I feel like dying. I feel like dying. I don't understand why you made me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. But my parents are dead! 
far. I'll try. Can't imagine that voice getting uh, annoying, guys. I'm trying to click it. It's not working. Okay, there we go. Yes, I'll try, Doctor. That's a positive attitude. I'm not crazy. I'm just tired. It just seems to take a while for the answer to pop in. I'm just tired. Of course you are. These sessions can be rough for you. And we really need to fix that light glow. Because uh, seriously, it's going to get kind of annoying if I don't fix that. I have like 10 meetings a day. But now I have something for you, Fran. Oh, really? What is it? What? What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Why wouldn't she just give it to me herself? Does she hate me or something? This was my mother's purse. Look at this, the face of depression. That's not a good thing. Oh, that's right. They're dead. Open it. There's something inside. A letter. Lost and found. Ooh, that's a cool little... Ooh. Demons. Demons and uh, skulls with top hats. I'm digging it. So this is a point-and-click adventure for you lovely people who don't know. I can't use this. Maybe I should examine it. Ooh, okay. No? Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love and grace. She is worried about you. Okay. Aunt Grace? Aunt Grace? Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't don't worry about her. She is fine. Uh, can I leave now, please? Can I go to my room now? So I guess we're at a psychological institution, like a mental hospital. Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it is time for your new medicine. No! No more medicine! I don't want to try more medicine. It's called Duotine, or Duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. <laughs> Hello? Anything new today, Dr. Dern? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, friend, take a fucking medicine. Yeah, it's all right. Ooh, delicious. No, no, no. Now what? I don't feel good. Oh, shiznit! Oh, fuck! Hello, shadow demon! Oh no, take her back to the room! And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Yeah, it's probably wise. This is acid. Uh, sorry. I got the two confused. They're so similar. <laughs> If you leave the house of madness, I'll fuck you up. I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Friend, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. It's meant to be the cat talking. Shit. Chapter One My Sober Day. It's like goosebumps. Dun 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 dun. Oh, who has a picture of a clown like that? Wake up, Fran. It's time to get up. Beware the mysterious globe of flashiness. Get up. I'm still here, hideous place. I have to get out of here. So one is to get up. Okie dokie. Artichokey. Uh, is there any way I can access the menu? Okay. 
I'll be right back. All right, uh, I was trying to see if I could turn the quality up or something because it, it uh, around the edges it looks kind of bad, but uh, uh, it's already at max, so I, I don't know what's giving in. All right. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time. <laughs> it does the same as before. Hmm. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. I will get your nose. I will get it. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? What's in here? Locked. Good reason to get curious. Here we go. Fran Bao Dag Dagenhart, age 10, gender female. History, the patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bao Dagenhart uh, family. Tragedy, details omitted. Treatment, Dr. Marcel Dern has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. Documented. July 25th, 1944. Okay, so we're in olden times. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Agreed. She looks super worried about it too. She's like, <laughs> damn crucifix trying to kill me. Oh, here we go. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. What? I hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Okay, that's kind of a creepy thing to find on a little girl's wall. Here we go. More children to play with. I want your little box. Oh, a secret box. Shh. Let's examine the box. No? Okay. Oh, a key. This will certainly open something. What? The fuck did I get a... Oh, it was in the box. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I hope somebody loves you, Mr. Teddy Bear. Hello, Phil. Hello. No any way out? So, I'm thinking about busting out. You do know the way out, right? There are many ways out. Everything's locked. Yes, but you know everything is locked. Indeed. But the office is the key. This kid's seen some shit. Look at his face. Alright, bye! Um, okay, bye. Dolly! I used to have a blue dress like yours. I can't play with you now. I'm on a very secret mission. I love how she has the persona of a ten-year-old. Uh, a lot of the games where you play a child don't normally do that, which is kind of cool. Uh, Fillmore Bronston. Uh, history. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronston. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Treatment. Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dern. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Okay, so he's kind of paranoid by the doctors. I think he might be paranoid. Oh, well, wouldn't Mr. Horn, sir, are you having a good time? Hello, chair. If I sit down, I'll eventually get up. So what's the point? Well, I mean, I guess that's one way of looking things. Of course, it's locked. Uh... I might use the key on that, but I want to keep exploring first, because there's also a way to the left. So let's uh, let's go far left and see what's going on over there. Hello, nursey nurse. That is a old... Okay. My legs are just fine. That's an old... Uh, it's got like a... What is that? Is that it's kind of like a, a blanket, but it's crap? Empty bottle, empty glass, nothing useful. Towels, towels, I don't need towels. Nurse, I'd like to escape. Any tips? Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. Hello, Fran. Good to see you are awake. How long was I asleep? Thank you, miss. Three days, maybe? Nothing major. Fucking three days? What is... Was it the medicine? Should find Kitty. Okay, what is... Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you are not taking it again. Kitty told me to take it. Yeah, let's, let's go super crazy. Kitty told me to take it. Oh, I see, but Kitty told me to take the medicine to find him. Your cat told you that? Then it must be a really evil cat. Mr. Midnight is not evil. Mr. Midnight is not evil. You shouldn't say such things about anyone you don't know. Oh, sorry for being realistic. Now go, I'm working. Okay, she's kind of a bitch. Fuck you. I want to take this. I guess the nurse would never let me touch anything. Okay, so the nurse is kind of a, a, a poo bum hip. I don't think I need any of this. Okay. So, I guess, use the key on the door, maybe? Maybe? Or on the drawer. Let's try on the drawer. 
Okay, uh, use key. Combine tiny key with tiny key. No, I don't want to do that. Use key. On draw. Hey! Alright, what do we get? Examine. Oh, it's a photograph of our family. And little Mr. Midnight is there. Alright. Oh, the drawer is empty. Right, I put it all in here. What is this? My hair clip should give a good use. Okay, let's try, uh... Let's try to, uh... Break into the door. Uh, use hair clip. Of course it's locked. Yeah, I want to use the hair clip. Use hair clip. Okay. Combine hair clip with hair clip? No. Okay. If I were bigger, I could take it down. Of course it's locked. How do I... It was it was working before. There we go. You take up the door. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Okay. Alright. We have progress. Okay. Do you have anything else for me? Hello, Phil. Hello. Uh, how are you, Phil? How are you doing? How are you going, buddy? Everybody says that I'm sick. They are just stupid. I have to find Kitty now. Bye. No, let's let's continue talking to Phil. They always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. There's a key inside? The key is the key inside the office. I saw the doctor write the secret code. Ah, intriguing. A secret code to open the yellow door. He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Oh, shit! All doors are closed. You are my prisoner of my games. Jesus fucking Christ. And nobody will help you escape. Phil will. Phil's a top bloke. Leave me alone, I hate you! Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. The fuck, Phil? You on Team Demon now or something? Alright, so I guess... No, we read that, we read that, we read that! Interesting! I guess, uh... We need something else to help pry open that door lock. Uh, maybe the crucifix? Can we knock that down? No? Oh, hello! Oh, holy moly, something fell! Handy ho! Oh, handy hook. Uh, I'll have to place pirate later. Okay, so we can, can we combine that with that? Yes. Correct. No? Cool beans. Hmm. Alright, this is interesting. Let's let's try the hook on the door. Shape's not right, okay. So I I think we have to click on the item first and then click combine. Okay. Interesting. So, like, we have to click on the item before we click a use. That makes more sense. I was, I was clicking, I was clicking the uh, the use before the item. At least now I know what I'm doing. So we have a hook. What are we gonna use the hook for? That's the true question. Can I hook her in the neck? Oh, we can look out the window. Oh, this is creepy as hell. Ah, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Um, I like the bunny swing thingy. It makes me dizzy. Ah, uh, the play- okay. She's looped out. Wonder if we can uh, use the hook on her. Absolutely not! Damn. Hook around the neck. Kill her. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing of use. Okay. 
So we definitely use this to open the door, but we need something else. Hmm, interesting. Can we take that? I want that. Maybe she'll give us some good dialogue. Nurse, something happened! See? You are nothing but trouble. What is it? I broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft, accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. What if I don't want to follow you? What if I just want to take all this shit on your desk? Alright, let's see what she's writing. Curious, yes, but she'll just go crazy if I touch anything. Okay, yep. So we've got to get her out of the room. Alrighty. Hello? Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains? Seen nothing? What's a hook? Yeah, let's, let's play dumb. Um, what's a hook? Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. Yes, and while you do that, I will rob you blind! Ha 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 ha! Foolish woman! Alright, let's take a teacup. I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Okay, so we need... Holy shit! Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Let's take let's take the gat and put it down. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all? I'll, I'll leave it as is. I really uh, need to get out of this place. Oh god, I can't read that if I wanted to. Uh, Fred, it's, it's something about me. Patient behavior the description. The patient has something sleeping almost all the time. She... Oh, Jesus. If anyone can decipher that, that would be lovely. Band-aid. Ooh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Ew. We take the spoon. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe defects uh, in some abilities, such as them trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing of the brain, frontal lobe, motor cortex, sensory cortex, uh, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, temporal lobe. Okay. Uh, cool. So we, we've stolen some shit. I wonder if we can... We can we have band-aids and the thing we need the combination for. I'm assuming this, uh, the stuff we need in this is in, uh, is in the office. Sorry, I had a complete mind blank then. Hmm, band-aids. I don't know what to do with them. She's out of the room though, so hopefully she left the door open. Doubt she did. Alrighty. Let's let's try uh, using the paperclip. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Okay. Uh... Ah, the shape is not right. Okay. Band-aid with door. Something. Some things just don't work. I'm lost now. Oh shit! Okay, H I D E hide. There was a there was a thing on the piece of paper that had the combination. Okay, so if we take the medicine, we might go to the the strange realm. Okay, let's go read her shit. All right, uh, H I D E H eight I nine eight nine four five eight nine four five. Okay, uh, eight. Nine, four, five. Yeah, boy! Let's take these crazy pills. The pills! Kitty told me to take that, that these would help. So, uh, eat one. Let's go into the ethereal realm. Oh my goodness! Watch your step! There's some shadow demon. There's a dead rat, and there's a, there's a nurse there. Let's take this needle. I'm assuming that will help us open the door. Excuse me, lady nurse. This is fucking terrifying. 
All right, what's this gonna be? It was not me. Oh, hello. How's your day? Hello, cultists. Oh god, they're holding my head. This is fucking mental. Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. Uh, <laughs> can I please have my head back, please? Pretty please. There's a dead rabbit. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time, la la la. Okay, I thought something would change. Who did it? Yeah, that's a good question, actually. Should we go into the basement area? The demonic basement. So this seems to take us to a realm where we can just... Oh, hello. Oh. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't, Franz. Mental condition is not appropriate yet. Okay. Right. So the doctors want to keep me here. Oh, shit. Wake up, Fran. Wake up. Was that real? Oh, dear Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. That doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. I wonder if we can use this fox belt. Oh, no. Foxy Fox. Don't cry. It was not me. Blood. Find him. This is creepy as shit. I wonder what happened to Phil. Phil is... Oh, Phil. Phil, are you okay there, friend? That is a, that is a creepy-ass deer. Hello, Phil. How's life? Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. Some weird shadow thing that's following everyone, apparently. So, the things are the same don't really change things. Oh! Hello! Oh no, your head! Do you need a hand? I'll try to put your head back on. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't help you, Mr. Deer. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Uh, combine hair clip with knitting needle. Yay, there we go. Oh, fantastic. My very own special key. Now, use. Hey! Alright, progress. Oh, hello, Time Master. What was that? Daddy was not there. Mummy would not care. That was creepy, whatever that was. Some weird... Some weird skeleton hat Time Master guy. I'm gonna call him Time Master. I don't know what his real name is. I'm surprised there's nothing creepy out here. The maze. We never get to go out there. Or play out there. Okay. Is the Time Master back? Hello, cat. You're my beloved friend. Bip, bip, brum. The fuck is this shit? In Joker's Funhouse? If you want to hug me, try to catch me. Brum, bip. If you can't catch me, it's because you haven't found me. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, so... Is this is this something that Time Master is taunting me with? Like, haha, you can't get your, your cat friend. Well, fuck you. Fuck you, Time Master. Oh, the clan's dead. I don't want to touch it. It's the clown from the painting. It's not the clown from the painting anymore. What are these shadow things? What are you? Why do you look like a fabric doll? Tiny, tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. This is a freaking creepy game. Uh, Adelaide, Adelaidea? Adelaida. Fugents. The patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. Uh, this event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Treatment, Dr. Marcel Dern uh, has become close to the patient through drawing therapy. She is making progress. You can see. I can see this demon. Where did the clown go? He's, he's right there. He's, he's right there. He's not coming back. All right. All right. All right. This is not the right place to go, evidently. Let's, let's go this way. Okay, we can go through that door. 
Uh, the king likes drawings. The shadow likes to give Liam goosebumps. Ugh. I don't like this. Somebody wrote something here. Interesting. Alright. Can we just get like a cricket bat to hit that damn cat? I'm assuming there's something to do with the cat. What? This wasn't here before. Can we just kill the cat? This won't work. Alright. So I think maybe there's something in this room that we have to do. Possibly. I don't know what though. Oh god, that's 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 disgusting. Stop with the eyes. Ah, my eyes. Oh, what's this? Even purest of things die in this place. Oh, it's a dead flower. Okay. So, what happens if I give a band aid to the clown? <laughs> Can't do that. Don't want to touch it. It's a clown from pain. If I take another pill, will we go back to the normal room? Realm? I'm curious. Oh, we totally do! Oh, okay, that's really weird. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. A teddy and many other things. Hello, Adelaide. Adelaida. Hello! You see them. You do, right? <laughs> I don't. Bye! What? See what? The creatures that follow everyone. Yeah, I do. The shadows? You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they're there. You know what they are? Do you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Please tell me. You like to draw? I love to draw. I love it too. Yes, I love it too, but tell me more about the shadows. Crayon. A crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. I want to find my cat. Draw a cat if you don't have one. I could draw m my cat, but I'd rather find him. Your cat is in danger. The shadows took him. I know. Who told you that? The one that follows me. Bye. Creepy ass smile. This bed is very pink. Oh, real flowers! They smell so sweet! The drawer is empty. Ah, look. We can see it now. <laughs> oh, this one is one of those mute clowns. It's going to die. Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. Oh my god. Alright, let's go back in here. What's, what's going on in here? Is the Time Lord just chilling? So we can go down here now, okay. Alright, well I think that's as good a time as any to end this episode. If you want to see me play more Fran Bao, uh, Fran Bao, Fran Bao, Fran Bao, please let me know by liking this video, saying something nice in the comment section, <laughs> subscribe for more. As always, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you next time. This is a very interesting game and it has my, in my, my, my interest fully. Uh, very creepy too, and I dig that. Have a fantastic day. Woo! Goodbye!